phones and computers to our lights, we are constantly bombarded with blue light. Exactly, and exposure at night could be hazardous to your health. Doctors at Brigham and Women's Hospital have been studying blue light for years, and they say exposure at night, it throws off the body's biological clock and suppresses the release of the sleep ho hormone melatonin. We've done studies showing if we read, for example, from an iPad in the few hours before bedtime, that that resets our circadian clock by about an hour and a half later. And it's not just sleep that's impacted. Researchers say shifting your circadian rhythm repeatedly has been associated with an increased risk of various types of cancer. The advice, expose yourself to plenty of bright light during the day and avoid bright screens two to three hours before you go to bed. Oh, that's so hard. Impossible. It is really hard. Yep. Impossible? Yeah. Two to three hours not looking at well, your phone? I you... mean, what do you do with your time? Bear in mind what time you go to bed at, though. Like but the average person most, going to bed at 10 o'clock. Most people could, are glued to their phones okay, here's and what you need sleep to do. with their phone right on the nightstand. Channel 4. You go to Channel 4. And you then just watch the 10 o'clock news. Phone away, That's watch a TV. Great screen, though. That one's fine. It's not the blue light. Oh. It's different light. You have to put it out. on, and then you have to put it on night mode. <laughs> yeah. Or your phone yeah, on that, night yeah, mode. There are studies going on right now that are seeing if that actually works right, right. now. We don't really know, do we? No, we don't actually know. It's kind but of. But it makes us feel better. Yeah. So I didn't even know about night mode until uh. Matt told me about it about a year ago. Yeah. I do think I slept better when I didn't have my phone in my bedroom. I used to. Yes. I used to have a no phone in the bedroom policy. Mm -hmm. Then and what changed? Well, this shift, like I always yeah. worry that something will happen in the middle yeah. of the night and mm -hmm. I'll have so, to wake up. So and that's rush that story. I mean, we've done so many of these sleep deprivation stories and we all take it very personally. This is the first time we've heard that this job is going to give us cancer. So yeah. That's fun. That's new. Mm -hmm. Really? That's the first time? I feel like we've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> no, coffee was going to give us cancer. Coffee. Yeah. It's related, yeah. but not directly.